Hello guys, this is Ali Silanki and today in this video we'll be talking about how to create your own NFT marketplace, NFTs, cryptocurrencies and everything with just one single click. So the first thing that uh, we'll be doing is going over to Buns. So here as you can see I've already opened Buns. So app.buns.dev and uh, I've already logged in over here. So you first have to log in and uh, then we can uh, proceed to create our own NFT marketplace. So here let's uh, select what we want to build. So create a dApp. Dapp is basically a decentralized application. So here I want to name it as open uh, open ocean okay not open sea open ocean <laughs> so let's start and uh, there are some prepared templates over here for you so you can select any one as I said you can create a, a cryptocurrency over here you can create your NFT you can create all sorts of things but here I'll be creating a simple uh, NFT marketplace or rather a multi token NFT marketplace because uh, that is what uh, OpenSea currently is so let's start with the third step which is uh, sending in the base URI so what is a base URI base URI is basically where your NFTs are stored so here you specifically need to add the IPFS uh, CID so here I'll just add in the IPFS uh, colon and then two slashes and then there's a specific code that you need to add so be it uh, NFT storage that you're uh, using in order to store your files be it any uh, other provider like Pinata or anything else uh, what you need to do over here is is after you go over to nft dot storage so I'll be specifically showing this for nft storage but you can do this with any uh, thing else so here you have to go on upload and then you need to choose your file choose your nft so here I'll be choosing my own file and uh, then just press on upload so what this does is it uploads your files on the decentralized uh, network so it is storing it over here so let me just uh, refresh this page and here as you can see it has been uploaded with the CID so this is what we need we need to copy this CID code and uh, come back over to buns and over here we had written IPFS colon forward slashes and then here we need to add the CID and then a forward slash as well so this is your base URI and then just click on import to dashboard. So here as you can see there are two things that you get which is the ERC1155 token, uh, the NFT and uh, the marketplace as well. So you need to deploy both of these things. Now here I've chosen Robston test network and connected my MetaMask wallet with it as well. So if you've not done that, uh, please do connect your MetaMask wallet with the site first. So after you've done that, uh, let me just select the right uh, wallet address over here. So this is the wallet address that I want to connect and press on connect. And as you can see, it is connected. Now we'll be deploying both of these things and then combining the modules over here. So as you can see, both of these things have been deployed and now we can go ahead with uh, combining both of these modules and create our decentralized application, which is the NFT marketplace. So let me just submit it and then a MetaMask notification should pop up and uh, it would ask us to confirm the transaction. So here it is and there's the gas fees and let me just confirm it. So you basically need to pay gas fees three times. One is when you deploy the NFT, uh, the ERC1155 NFT, then the marketplace, and then when you are combining both of these modules. Now, once this is done, you can go ahead with the client SDK and you'll see two uh, specific keys over here, the DAP ID and the API key. Now, we'll be using this in the next step. So let's just go over there. So step three has been completed. We have deployed it successfully. Now we need to upload our NFT images. Now, before I go over there, let me just show you uh, what we have deployed. So just so you can see um, over here, we have deployed all of these things and here you can copy the address I'll go over to Robston uh, etherscan Robston dot etherscan uh, website from where you can see all the things that are there on the Robston uh, network 
so here i've pasted the address and let's see how it looks so this is our contract creation three minutes ago by our address and you can even see uh, this was the erc1155 token and you can even see the marketplace but let me just show you uh, the transaction over here so this is the contract and let me just show the contract over here so you can verify this contract and also publish it but uh, we won't be doing that here we'll be searching for the nft uh, contract that we've deployed so this was the nft contract and the first one was the contract deployment and the second one was for compiling both of these modules so yes everything has been deployed and it is successfully there on the blockchain now um, as i said we in the next step we need to use these two ids one is the dap id and the api key as well so uh, where do we have to use it we, for that we need to go over to the boilerplate so uh, we are on to our step four which is uploading our nft images so the fourth step over here you need to go over to this boilerplate and uh, the links will be down in the description box below so do check it out this entire document is linked over there so once you come over here this is a github uh, repository and uh, you can basically skim through this uh, it has explained everything in detail what whatever i'll be talking over here but uh, if you want to just follow through then uh, press on code and download the zip uh, zip folder so i'll be doing that over here and uh, launching this zip file so i've already done that over here you can see the folder is right there in my downloads uh, part and uh, let me open visual studio code so visual studio code if you don't know already it's an ide and an ide is basically like a text editor but with advanced features so here whatever you're seeing it's like this is the folder that i'm that i've opened uh, the erc721 you can press on file and just open your folder but uh, i've done that and here you'll see a terminal if you don't see that uh, just click on terminal and press on new terminal so once you see this uh, what you need to do is uh, add in these two commands first is npm install so this will install all the dependencies uh, there are in this particular um, uh, project so these are all the dependencies if you go over to package.json and the second thing that you need to do is press on npm run start so this will actually uh, start your application and this is where you can uh, basically choose your files and upload your nft images now uh, one more thing that you need to do uh, let me just cancel this so control c is for cancelling the process and uh, one more thing that you need to do is uh, type in this particular command which is touch dot env now i've already done this and this will basically create this one file which is dot env file now there are three things that you need to add uh, the dap id which i had talked about earlier uh, the api key again uh, something that we had seen and the last part is your nft storage key this is also something that we'll see so we'll get that from the nft storage part so let's go over to buns and uh, copy our dap id and even the api key so let me just paste it over here and the api key is over here so let me just paste this and we have successfully pasted that now we want the nft storage key right nft storage key we'll get it from nft dot storage and uh, we have already used cid we don't want this but rather we want the api keys so press on api keys and this will open this particular uh, website and there you will see the entire key listed over here so just press on copy and go back and just paste it over here so i've pasted the entire nft storage key over here and everything has been done just remember to save this file uh, that dot shouldn't appear so npm run start so once you do that you'll be able to see your uh, application it won't change over here but in the back end we have changed certain things so the first thing that you need to do is add in the token name so here we are minting our nfts right so what is the name of your nft the name of my nft is ali solanki because that's my uh, that's the file that i'll be adding so ali solanki in the night time and let's just add our file so this is the file that i want to add this is the file 
and here I can just press on mint and go ahead with it so here as you can see uh, I have gotten my NFT and uh, this is the zeroth uh, element and uh, yeah the NFT has been successfully uh, minted everything has been done so yes this is how you can use buns uh, by the way they are coming up with their own dashboard and everything so you won't have to you know download all of these files and folders from github you you can actually do that uh, through their dashboard functions itself uh, in the future and if you want to know about how to create NFTs in detail then do check out this particular video in which I've talked about the same